that message writing. This is a very important concept from class 6 to class 12 and even for class 4th as well. So it's going to be a very useful video for all of us. Please stay tuned till the end of the video because this is going to be very useful for you till your end of schooling. So okay guys, now let's see what a message is. A message is like a small note which you leave. For example, if somebody calls from your father's office or something, if your father is out for walking and if he leaves his phone in our house, you can't contact him. So when uh, they call from his office, you take the call and after you pick the call, they'll uh, tell you some message and before your uh, father comes uh, home after walking, if you want to go to your tuition class or something, uh, you can leave a note for him because you can't meet him directly and tell the message to him in person. So you can leave a note for him. This is message writing. Message can be in three forms. Oral, written and recorded. Now we are going to be seeing about the written version and that's what, uh, that's what we have for exam. Usually in our exams we have a telephonic conversation and we should uh, see we should read the uh, telephonic conversation, we should understand what the message of the telephonic conversation is and we should see what the content is and make a small note of the message. Now let's see the uh, format for, it, uh, for message writing. Actually message writing has six main points. Now let's see what they are and where they should all be. On top. Actually, message writing should always be in a box. I really don't have a scale uh, to, that big to draw on a board or something. Now, we'll just see an example. On top, in the center, we should write message. Okay. This, in the top, we should write message. And then, we should write the date. Today's date is December and the date should be in full letters. December 19, 2022. And then we should write the time which we are writing. Now it's like 3 p.m. in the afternoon. So 3 p.m. And we should write the receiver's name. Like for, uh, for example, let's name like uh, Rehan or something. Okay. Now let's write. Now let's write a body. It should be, uh, now let's add a uh, comma to the name. And then here we should have the body. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay, we should write the body. The body should be short, crisp, and specific. This is what the content should be like. And then, uh, in the end, we uh, let's leave some space. Like usually, it will be like fifty to hundred words. And in your question paper, you will be given in the word limit. And finally, you should write the writer's name, like which is Yashwant. Yashwant is okay. So that's all. We should remember six main points, which is the top or uh, top thing, message, and then the date in full letters. And after that, the time, the name of the receiver, the body of the content, which should be short, crisp, and specific, and finally the writer's name. And another important point it should be like the message should be center aligned on the top, and then everything should be in the uh, near the margin, which is like everything should be left aligned. So we should remember that as well. So if you change the, this uh, the thing, like if you write the date here and the time here. Uh, you will be in a cut of a mark. But, but like in some times, the format might be changed. But this is the uh, general format. You can follow as per the changes in your school. So that's all about message writing. So stay tuned with Daily Talk to uh, follow many updates. Thank you. And I wish you very good luck for the English exam writers tomorrow. And like uh, for DAV 6 standard, we have English exam tomorrow. So all my friends, a uh, very good luck. Bye. See you.